Hello and welcome to this session on how to create checkpoints in Catalon Studio. So we will learn what are checkpoints and then we will see how to create checkpoints. Okay, so let us go to our Catalon Studio and uh, before we start creating checkpoints, let us learn what is a checkpoint. So here is a documentation on Catalon Studio website and here I will just copy this URL and also provide this in the notes and all these notes will be available in the description of this video. So here it says checkpoint is the snapshot of test data taken at a specific time. A checkpoint is used to verify whether the current state of the data source is different from its previous taken state. So this is basically you can select a type of a data and then you can create a snapshot of that data as of now as of at the time of taking a snapshot and then you can actually assert in case there is any change in that data from the previously taken snapshot so let us learn how to do that so here if you go to checkpoints on your catalon studio here you can do a right click and say new and create a checkpoint and give it any name i say this is checkpoint one now here you can see you have you have the option to create a test data an excel file a csv file or a database data so you can select any of these data sources let me select an excel file and say next so here you will be asked to give a file path and the sheet name now just in case you just finish it here you will get this window for checkpoint and now you have to again give the file here so click on edit and now it is asking the same thing file path and sheet name so click on browse and select your excel so in my case i have this excel that i used for data driven uh, testing or parameterization in an earlier video so i will open this and here as of now it has a single sheet so it is showing me sheet one and using first row as a header i am checking this because the first row is a header in my sheet i will say okay and now you will click on this take snapshot button so as soon as you click here you will see all your data from that particular sheet or from that particular data source will come here and you can see as of now i have uh, this sheet which has two data or two rows of data and now here you can actually click on what data you want to be added for the checkpoint so as of now i am adding everything because i want all to be checked and now what you can do is let me check this as well yes everything is checked now what you can do is you can create a test case so i will go to test case do a right click and first i will create a folder and make it as a checkpoint tests and you can directly create also it is just for easy referencing and categorization and inside this folder now i will create a test case let us say this is test one and say okay and now here i have to create a step for verifying the checkpoint so if i go to the uh, keywords browser and let me go to built-in keywords and i will go to web ui and go to utilities and here you have this keyword verify checkpoint so i'll just go and drag and drop it here so this is the keyword and if you see the input you are seeing these two values null and false i will double click here so the first is checkpoint so here you have to give the checkpoint so i am selecting my checkpoint that i just created which is checkpoint one here and then lock changed values so if you make it as false even if there is any changes it will fail the checkpoint but it will not lock those changed values and if you make it as true it will also lock those values on the console so i will say this as okay and save this and run this and let us just see the result of this verify checkpoint so it is evaluating and everything is passed so you can see the log viewer so it says it passed so that means there is no change in the data source so checkpoint data and source data are matched okay now let me make some changes so i will go to my file so this is the file i have used so i will just go here and make some changes so let me add a third row here i will say admin 3 and some data here okay and also let me change this data 
okay so I'm, I have made some changes added a new row and I will just save this and close this okay and now let us run our test again and let us verify what outcome do we get now so let us look at the log viewer okay so it failed which is good and now let us see what is the outcome so here it is saying uh, this failed because of unable to verify checkpoint checkpoint one so data did not match okay so you can see all the details here so it is saying the data did not match and here it is matching everything and it is actually now failing uh, this one problem that I do not see the uh, changed values logged here which might be a issue I will check it later on because I cannot see anything let me just go to the console if it is uh, printing out anything here so no although I had made log values as true but I do not see anything printed out here so it is just saying not matched so which is uh, okay for now I will check out if there is anything that is a problem from the Catalon Studio site but this is how you can uh, verify checkpoints you can create checkpoint and you can also create checkpoints for databases so that will be very useful because that is something uh, I think a lot of you might use it so let me say if I make database data as a source and I say finish here you will see you get an option to uh, connect to your database using URL username password and then you can actually create a SQL query here and the result of that SQL query query will be taken as the data for matching so you can do this as well and of course here is a web page where you can read all about checkpoints so I hope this session was very useful for you thank you for watching